Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, we will be reviewing the ColourPop Main Squeeze eyeshadow palette. I was so excited. I saw this and I like, I said it to my sisters because I was like, I want this for my birthday. And then I was like, well, what if it like goes out of stock or like they can't get it? And so I was like, I just need to buy it. So I pulled the trigger and I literally bought it and it just came in today. And I was like, I'm filming a video right now. And I just got my nails on today and it was like perfect timing because it matches and it's so cute. And I'm obsessed. <laughs> um, so um, I don't even know what else to say. I'm really excited. It also came with the five year um, anniversary Super Shock Shadow. And I've never tried this formula. So I was like, why not? It came for free with the pat, like when you put a place in order just that day. So I was like, I, I need to do it. Um, so I do have my base makeup on because we're just going to jump right into the eyes. I want to apply um, this as a blush, we'll just test things out. So I'm really excited and I want to swatch all the shadows. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. <laughs> So I do have two other ColourPop palettes. The first one is the ColourPop Dream Sheet palette, which is a different packaging. I don't know if it's different formula. I don't know what those are called. Those are just, it's different than these, which is are the nine pan palettes. So this is the Ooh La La palette, which is like the, which is like the same. If you guys know, they're going like by every color and like coming out with a bunch of these. So um, any color you can think of, they just came out with the blue one today, by the way. Um, and I saw that earlier and I was like, hmm. I don't really, I'm not into blue, so I'm not going to purchase it right away. But, like, if there's a sale or, like, a deal, I don't know. I think I'd buy it. Um, or buy more of these. Because I really like these palettes. I like the size. I love everything about it. So, I have used this Oh La La one um, for a while. And I do, I really love the shades. Um, most of the shades in here are perfect. Like, I have no complaints except for this shade right here, which is Tickled. You can see there's a giant dip in there. But not because I use it a lot. But because it takes a lot of work to use it and to make it beautiful. So... So you really have to just dig in there and that's kind of annoying. But these two matte shades are just stunning. I'm obsessed with these shades. This one's pretty. I just have another pink that I was trying to pan for my Dream Shoot palette. So I wasn't really using this one. And then those two deeper shades I haven't really played too much around with. I have used them and they do blend beautifully. I just haven't used them a lot. And then the other shimmers are really beautiful. And I do like those. Um, these two are just my favorite up here. They're the shades Soft Core and Poodle beautiful and i have again like i've used this palette and i really really love this palette so when i saw this one and i was like reds i need them i've been in on the hunt for a good red and when i was like i saw this and i was like i need this i started screaming my sister was like what i was like i need that palette in my life and so i pulled the trigger so we're gonna swatch all of them they come with the big mirror which i love it's so perfect because i'm going on vacation next week and i definitely gonna bring this but it's just easy to just be able to look in the mirror and Bada bing, bada boom. And mine still has a plastic on it because obviously I just got it. So that's why it looks kind of um, foggy there. But then I can just take it with me and rip the thing off when I go. So I was playing with it earlier. That's why I was a little bit messy. Um, and then when I also got my package, it also came with this cute little um, Happy Birthday ColourPop. Um, which is really, really cute. So um, the first shadow in here is Froze. I think it's F R. It's I think it's supposed to be like a play on Rose and just Froze or like Froze. I don't know. If there's a if there's a one of those things an accent over the e so i don't really know um if you want to just see it right there but it's just beautiful shade that reminds me of the shade that i like in um the ooh la la palette so i was really excited about that here it is here it looks like my nail did that but that's that so buttery soft buttery soft all right and then the next shade is juicy fruit which is this gold I don't know how much I am in love with this gold being in here. I feel like they put it in there just so people can look at it and be like, yeah, I can wear that every day, you know what I mean? Or something like that. Um, oh, it is beautiful. Oh, it has like a a reflective of red to it. Okay, so you can't see that in a palette. Because I was like, I'm not going to just use a gold. I have a million golds. Um, but I think that they kind of put it in there to be a neutral shade that people can use all the time. Because people are going to look at it and be like, I'm not going to use reds every day. But then they'll be like, I can use that gold though and this brown. And so I think that's why they added it. But it looks, I thought that's why they added it. But it has like that duochrome, or I don't even, what is that called? The, I don't know, but it's just, it's red and gold at the same time. So whatever that means in makeup language that's what it is okay and then it's the shade um 
home slice which is so cute it's this red shade and now the red it looks like when you look at it on camera it looks shimmery but i swatched it earlier and even now you're gonna see there's not shimmer in it it looks maybe a little bit satin but on a very light light satin like i was who i think i was watching a laura lee video and she had said that sometimes you have to add glitters to make the formula better or something like that but really the glitters don't transfer around the eye they're just there to make the formula nicer and so that's what i thought about when i thought about this but this shade is i'm in it here for this shade super here like really here super here i'm excited there's the shade let's uh like it's hot which is a red it's a little less red than this one this one's a little bit more red um at least from the looking at it we're gonna swatch it though real quick um i like this palette too because you can get it dirty but then you just wipe it off because it's like you can just clean it i don't know it's not that like cardboard plastic material okay so they're very similar you can see a little bit of difference in it up close you can see them a little bit more yeah they're a little different when you look at them closer but i really liked having both because since this one is a little bit satin i don't know how that's gonna look on the eye if it's gonna look satin or it's just gonna look matte or what so it's really nice to have that one and again i'm here for the reds so you could have given me the same sh different shades of the same red uh, three times over and i would have been good <sighs> people were saying like oh since it's like um uh, what's gonna call it themed watermelon theme they should have added a green and i'm like no they shouldn't it's a red palette they have the green palette for you to add the greens for you to have greens so why would they like it no that's nonsense don't say that stupid stuff all right so then the next uh, shadow is i don't know how to say that maraschino maraschino i don't even know it's probably means something that i don't know some slang that i have no idea what it is watch someone's gonna tell me how to pronounce it i'm gonna be like wow i'm an idiot um anyway that's this shade and this shade is so beautiful oh my gosh i love that shade this one's really like pulling my attention but i really like this one too i'm definitely going to be using that one they don't feel as gross as the Ulala la palette the um as the shade tickled tickled is just chunky and nasty this is here to swatch right here um and it looks pretty but you can see it's just chunky and none of them feel like that the shimmers that i swatched don't and there's only one more shimmer so um yay for like making progress okay so we're gonna swatch the next one to kind of, kind of hurry up this one is big gulp and then we're gonna swatch seed money and baywatch and then here we go again this is big gulp oh it's like an orangey red i like that and then this is seed money That one's pretty it looks a little bit more brown in the palette and i don't know i was like not really excited about that but i like that kind of tone because it's red brown it's like a red brown like a it's not even brick brown it's like a more red brown i don't know and then this last one is baywatch Ooh, that one's pretty it's not as unique as the rest of the shades so that's why i wasn't like super excited but like because these two are just those are stunning um this one but it's pretty so it's not like ugly which is very nice <laughs> it's not as unique as it looks in the palette in the palette it looks like a copper red kind of maroon i don't know it just has a lot but here it just looks like um like a regular maroon kind of shade i don't know and then the last shade is red bottoms which is a deep deep color deep deep color we're just gonna swatch it on the hand because why not oh you can tell you look at this whole arm you're like wow like there's the theme or whatever and then you're like this guy definitely belongs over here on the hand but that'd be nice to deeper down the inner corner come up with some fun looks with these so i'm really excited about that so we're gonna apply this to the eyes i'm really excited about this palette um yeah i don't know what else to say i'm just i'm really excited and they swatch really nicely again the size of these are just perfect so um i don't know i really love that and then like Although I would like um, a colorful palette that has like every single color in it so that in case I need it. I really like these two because they have different variations of the same color. And so it's like whenever I need this kind of red or that kind of red, I have it now. And then like this kind of pink, this kind of blue, whatever. Whatever ones are like this. So I really, really enjoyed that. Okay, so we're just going to crack in. Okay, wait, 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 hold on. Let me backtrack real quick. I know you guys want to see the eyeshadow. But, um, again, I came with this little uh, cute little Super Shock shadow, and I've never tried this formula. So I'm just going to swatch it because I swatched it earlier, and uh, so soft. 
my hands a little wet but it is <laughs> stunning and I'm shook so oh I think I'm, I'm I think I'm gonna apply it on my cheeks um to see how it looks as like a blush highlighter duo I don't know like a blush I don't know like a blush um because when I saw it on the thing I was like oh I need to put that on my face and I wanted to put on my blush even though it's a super shock shadow it's in the shade birthday treat so i don't know if they sell that um or if it was just for that day i don't really know but it is stunning um so i'm just gonna dip it with my blush brush swirl it around in there oh <laughs> that is pretty okay it's definitely like a highlighter or a blush topper so it's not gonna put down you don't really see any of the pit like the shade from there like you get on the back of the hand when you swatch it with your finger but you can see all the glitter i'm here for this <laughs> this is so pretty i gotta use it as a highlighter then or like a blush topper oh my gosh i'm gonna love this for vacation next week this came just in time because i was about to, i'm about to leave for vacation tomorrow or not tomorrow on saturday and so it came just in time because this is stunning and i'm here for it <laughs> okay 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 i don't even know i'm like overwhelmed i'm like okay 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 i keep saying okay okay um we are gonna do the eyes now so the first shade i'm gonna just jump right in and we're gonna go and try to use as many shades as possible we're gonna start with this shade up here i think it's froze or whatever you want to call it and we're just gonna blend that into the crease that was one little dip and blended and that is just gorgeous the only thing about this thing is that it is loose glitters so it's like all over my face but it looks beautiful i don't know if it's loose glitters or loose like shimmers because they don't feel they're not like chunky but like they're there for sure again it's just blending really really nicely so oh my gosh yes and please thank you I really like ColourPop shadows. I don't know why I don't buy from them more, but I think it's because a lot of the time you have to get it offline. And I like to buy stuff at, like, Target and stuff like that. So I feel like um, if they were sold at, like, Target or whatever, I'd be a little, I'd buy a little bit more from them. Um, but, yeah, I don't really. I'm here for the shade. I like it because I was expecting it to be a little bit more pink. And I was, like, I, I was feeling that like it was just going to look like the shade from this one but it doesn't and i'm kind of like i like how red it is because it is the red palette so it should be a little bit more red so i kind of really like that actually okay so then what we're gonna do we're gonna take like a more detailed kind of brush and we're gonna take the shade big gulp right here we're just gonna put that on the outer corner but then also bring it into like the depths of the crease so not as high but blend that in there the shadows blend really, really nicely together. You can see that they're not like being getting patchy or being funny. Ooh, ooh. And then we're just gonna go back to the blending brush and blend out the crease a little bit. I don't know guys, if you have one of these, please let me know which one it is. If you have a different color, let me know. Let me know if I should get more of these. I'm here for this. I'm here for it. All right. So I haven't decided, do I want to take this, that middle shade or the Juicy Fruit shade? Ooh, I'm going to take the shade Juicy Fruit. We're going to add more colors on around it, but I just want to see how it looks right now. I'm going to take the shade Juicy Fruit, which is right here in the middle. I'm just going to use my finger and see how that applies. I've been doing that lately, and I don't know, it's just been really nice. Whew. Okay, so I like it. It looks pretty. I just feel like it's not super, super blinding like it's watched. So we're going to take a brush and we are going to wipe the brush with it. Or obviously dip the brush in there. See how that works. And then we're going to spray it to see how that works. So it's pretty. It just looks basic. basic. Let's make it live a little. Oh, there we go. This side is like, yes. I agree. Sometimes using your finger is better and the shimmer, the shades look better. But like in this case, you can see that the brush spraying it was so much better. It's just plus. 
it, it just was. Okay, so now that that's done, I really like that. Um, I'm not obsessed with the shade, like, I'm not going to wear it on my eyes every single day, but it's pretty. I really am really impressed with the mattes and how nice they look on the face. I'm a little bit more impressed with that. And then, as I said about the Ulala palette, I use the mattes in here more anyway, so maybe that's going to be the same for this. All right, so we're going to take this little Luxie brush. It's a Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. I was really excited to get this. And we're going to take the shade red. Let's just go for it. We're going to take the shade red bottoms down here and just blend that on the outer corner. see what happens <sighs> oh real nice I'm doing like kind of swiping motions but then I'm also packing it on so the color really gets on there and I really freaking like that oh look how beautiful that blended right there yes, yes color pop please and thank you and we're gonna do the other side of course Okay, I'm really kind of shook. This shade is beautiful, and uh, it really made the eye, like the eyeshadow on the top, look gorgeous. And I'm here for this look right now, like super here for it. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm not gonna lie, this shimmer was like not super impressive to me, but this shade in the outer corner really just transformed the look to a whole nother place that I'm, I'm, I, I like. I like this place that we're at. Okay, so we used a bunch of the shades. Um, I want to use one more, this red shade. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take Big Gulp first, the shade we were just using, on the same brush. And I'm just going to run that across the outer corner of my lower lash line. Um, just real tight so that it, just the outer corner here, so that it blends together before I add the next shade. And then, and then we're going to take, let's just go with this brush. It's like a little, like pointer brush we're gonna take the shade like it's hot right here and just blend that across <gasps> okay okay <laughs> they really killed it with these shades right now because they're so pigmented and they're so gorgeous and I'm obsessed what I'm going to do, too, is actually take my, like, inner corner brush that I use. I'm going to take the little Super Shock, the eyeshadow, and ooh, 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 ooh. It's real. I dug in there real deep. I'm just going to put that on the inner corner and see how I like that. Mm, not super cute. So we're going to take the shade. Let's go with it. We're going to take the shade Mar or whatever in the middle here and put that in the inner corner and see how that looks. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some mascara and then I'm gonna like finish off the face. I'm gonna add a little bit more blush, kind of finagle with this little guy here and then I'll be back to recap the rest. Okay, so by the way, I just added some of my Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. I was wearing it the whole time. My Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy on my lips. It's the pink one, obsessed, uh, obsessed. Oh, obsessed. <laughs> um, and then on the uh, eyelashes, on this side, I'm actually wearing the Il Maquillage Ma Icon Mascara High Volume and Intense Curl Mascara on this side. And then on this side, I'm um, wearing the Big Tees, Buxom Big Tees Plumping Mascara. Um, so I got this one in Ipsy. I got this one from Ross. And I want to see which one I like more. And I kind of like this side like uh, a smidge bit more. This one's pretty and I don't hate it, but I like this side more. We were just touching those babies out and then I just added it as like this shadow as like a highlighter So I don't actually think I didn't even do this. I'm gonna take a little bit of it and see what it looks like in the center here Again, I've never used the ColourPop Super Shock shadows before so I don't know if you have to add like glitter glue or something like that Because these have like loose shimmers in it and not that I hate it or anything I like it on the face a lot. I just don't know how much I'm gonna love it on the eyes because then if it falls I don't deal with that. I don't do that you guys know I don't do that but overall I'm kind of shook this eye look is kind of stunning and this palette costs $12 that's crazy to me um, I can't stop like looking at my eyes because I'm shook I just want to keep blending because it blends so beautifully um, and I don't like I, not that I don't know why but like 
It's a little bit shocking. It's not like shocking like, oh my gosh, I can't believe ColourPop actually did that because I loved ColourPop. Like my, the Dream Shoe Palette is one of my favorite formulas because it is just so pretty. But um, it's just like, like, why do brands, how do brands get away with spending, selling this kind of quality even if, or, or worse quality for way more than this. This is $12. This is amazing, guys. Um, get yours. I love both of these. I do think I like the red one a little bit more. Um, but my sister got me this one for Christmas, so I was really excited. And so I really love that one as well. Um, I think they're, um, 110% different enough that you, if you want both of them, go ahead and get both of them. I don't even think there are any similar shades except for the one over here, but that one even blended on the eye completely. Like it, it was red. It wasn't even pink. So I'm, I really like how they do that and how they make them different. They don't even try to make them like the same they are different so i really enjoy that i really enjoy this palette guys 100 percent recommend if you know you're going to use it i think i really like this too because you can use this every day like this look this look is a little bold but it's not like pink or it's not blue or it's not purple like where people are gonna be like oh my gosh she's wearing like purple makeup all over her face it's a little bit more wearable so i really really like that even you can like you can glam it out you can do like basically whatever you want with this palette um because it's just it's just a really nice palette so you can um put throw like a you can throw the shade in the crease and then call it a day and it's super natural um you can even throw like this on the lid it's very natural shade down here do really one two three look crease outer corner lid basics you can do so much with this so i really enjoyed that I am going to keep playing around with it, update you guys soon. I think I'm just going to be doing like, I don't even know what to call it. I saw Jessica Braun, she did like a, um, what did she say? Anti-first impressions or whatever. So she's been using the makeup for a long time. And I'm thinking about doing that because I got so much, I got so much stuff from my Ipsy and stuff like that, that I have want to like update you guys on. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. I'm really excited. The packaging is um adorable and i don't i want to like keep the box i don't know why i want to keep the box for the eyeshadow too um let me know if you guys like have any tips and tricks with the super shock shadows if i if this one just is the formula with loose glitters because it's their birthday one if i should try a different one which one should i try should i try more from ColourPop? i've tried i have now i've tried these and then as well as the dream shoe palette that's basically all my ColourPop collection um Again, I want to get more, but it's just hard because I don't like ordering it online. I don't like ordering it from Ulta. Those are just two places I just don't order from. And it's funny. <laughs> um, I do order like e.l.f. online, but it's always like when they have free shipping or like free shipping over... They always have free shipping over 25 So it's just a lot cheaper than um, ColourPop. So I know it's stupid, but how I'm feeling. Um, so again, let me know what you feel, how you're thinking about this palette. palette if you're going to pick up the blue one that just came out today. Um, yeah, so I was almost said let's get started. Look at that. That is highlight. Highlight. Um, so that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you enjoyed this look, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.